It has been far too long since my last Iron Man update video. I have been working on it, contrary to my uploads. And I gotta update you guys where I'm at, and we're gonna be doing a lot of work today, and I'm just gonna be kind of vlogging it as I'm doing it so you guys can see what all this project takes, and maybe kind of interesting to see the suit come together. So, I realize the whole suit is not here, but these are the main parts that I've worked on or will be working on. Number one, the cot piece fully printed, sanded, and nicely done here. Um, you can see the seam line, which I will show you guys how I'll be addressing with that along with other parts. Same thing with the other side of the cod piece. I uh, sliced them, as you can see, on the side in half. So uh, those are sanded down and primed. That's really nice. We just got to get that seam to be looking better after the welding. So the abs, uh, they wall it together. Then they kind of came apart during the move. I had to re-weld them. That's done. They're very structurally sound. I mean, I'm shaking them like crazy. Um, I did try to cover up that seam with wood fill. That's still my best result, and it's sanded down. And then if you bend it a little bit to the side, you can start seeing the crack a little bit, not great. What we're gonna be using for that, those parts, and just about anything that's got a seam going on, is this absolute awesome stuff called Bondo, right? Body filler for uh, automotive parts, usually. Uh, this thing cost me maybe five to seven bucks, uh, maybe even cheaper. It's huge, it, this is more than enough. I probably could uh, fill a whole car with it, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But more than enough for what we need for this project. Um, it's sandable, it fills the stuff much better, it's much stronger, it's not just wood fill that just kind of, you know, uh, fills in a little bit of spots and that's it. Uh, what feels better for projects like this, you see the, the helmet, this is normal, it wasn't a fail print or anything like that, but you get a little bit of seam lines right here, so that, that that's what wood feels for, not Bondo. So here we go. We're gonna fill that in. Next parts. Had to redo the shoulder. This print came out, oh my gosh, so much smoother. It's kind of dirty actually because of all the sanding I've been doing in the workshop. Um, I mean, this, this is just beautiful, super nice. I actually printed the first time the right shoulder this way, flat on the bed. Don't ever do that. Um, print vertically. Okay, now lesson learned. And gosh, it, the difference in uh, my 3D prints and the quality is improved so much. And I'm really happy about this. We gotta sand that guy down. Gotta get him ready for his suit. Uh, as you see, the right hand is kind of done-ish. Um, so this is a funny story. I uh, I had power go out for like three days. That's why YouTube and everything was just kind of slow. But I was really adamant because we had a little Halloween party to get this glove done. I had some paints that I was really excited for because they came out perfect on the, 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 I guess it's called the topper, right? It's absolutely beautiful red, really well done. And so I had no lights, completely dark in the garage, like right there. I was spray painting this, not seeing what I was doing. It came out terrible. <laughs> um, the colors are right, but I mean, I had no idea what I was doing. I had this like little glowing up lantern thing and it just, yeah, not enough light. So we're gonna be uh, sending this guy down and repainting him. But uh, I mean, you could just see the red color right there pop and it's just absolutely perfect. So uh, that's what I'll be working on mostly today, along with super excited about the helmet. So no, this is not that first helmet you've seen. This is another one. I have much better colors and paints. I have much improved skills sanding and printing. And so we're doing another helmet, but this one is going to be motorized. That's right. We're going to start adding electronics. The first part I decided I'm going to do is the helmet, motorize that guy. The other one's going to be more for display. And then we're going to start adding electronics once all these parts are together, which leads me to my last and final point. Once I finish this helmet and all of these parts, I will be working on the upper torso. Now you're probably asking what's wrong with the upper torso. Didn't you kind of wear it way back when? I did, it was ridiculously uncomfortable. It does hold together. It's perfect for a display prop, but walking around, it's not exactly ideal. I wanna get that better. I now have a heat gun, so I'm gonna morph the abs around me, kind of bend them around so it's better. I'm gonna get that torso to be much more comfortable to wear. Now, that leaves the bottom half of the suit. The bottom of the suit is gonna absolutely kill me to harness together. Now, I have ideas, and it's gonna be basically more of the belt system for the bottom half. I just gotta trim it a little bit and it's just, I'm, I'm putting it off. I'm, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm procrastinating that part. I have the torso so close to being done. I wanna finish that completely so I can actually wear it better. And then the legs, I don't think it's gonna be, you know, that many more complicated parts. It's just I gotta figure out a solution, how to perfectly trim them for my body to wear them, uh, get some lifter shoes and stuff so it, you know, works for my size because it's a six foot model and I'm a five foot eight on a good day person. So there's that. But once we get all of that and the helmet motorized, so that's gonna be probably for the next half a week, I'm gonna be working on that. 
We might start doing electronics such as the uh, arc reactor and all of that in the suits and the LED lights. So I got to order those parts and all that. So the rest of the week is going to be figuring out how to motorize Arduino code. This is going to be Arduino based. Uh, so we could do a whole bunch of fun stuff, sounds, LED lights, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, but I want to get the suit to be at least the upper torso as much wearable as possible, really close to being done. So I got to start filling them in with electronics and then meanwhile, harnessing up the bottom parts. So with that all being said, going into work, first up, sanding that helmet down, priming it, got my camera ready. Yes, that's an iPad. I do this for time lapses. And um, by the way, if you guys are looking for a helmet you want to wear for a prop, Etsy link down below. I'm working on an Etsy project yet again, another one. Thank you guys for purchasing those. The, all that money, those, those profits from Etsy, they go back to the channel. Like I need obviously better cameras, um, so much stuff that I can do to make the quality up here better. So, but I appreciate those who have purchased them. I uh, hope you guys enjoy them, but without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go, look how smooth this guy is coming along. I haven't even wet sanded him, this is just the primer. Uh, the drop could be a little bit better. I, I'm pretty pretty happy, pretty happy with the results. This is much better of a helmet than the first one, much cleaner, can't wait for the better colors. And now we're gonna be fixing the, uh, the part that broke during the move, the little uh, collar piece. Also got the uh, collar piece fixed. Um, it's got all the welding done in the back. Uh, we're gonna have to definitely do some uh, additional wood filler, maybe some sanding, Bondo, we'll see on that for sure, get that seam really covered up. But thankfully it kind of blends in with the design of the suit. So uh, that's reinforced because that broke in the move. That was not good. But hey, at least we saw some vulnerabilities in the suit and not at a Comic Con or something, right? you saw there um i'll be the first one to tell you i do not know what i'm doing with bondo <laughs> absolute noob i had way too much of it um this is my first time ever using that stuff so basically if you don't know how to use it don't listen to me or anything but what i did is i got some of that made sure i mixed it uh added very little amount of the hardener made sure it was a plastic nothing that'll absorb it yes this is very ghetto but i don't need this box I was lucky to have a little tool um, to paste it on everything after and mix it. So we did that here. We're going to wait for it to cure and then you just sand it all off. Should be a better solution than what we had with the wood filler. It's definitely a lot stronger. Um, hopefully it didn't over apply it in some spots and we'll be able to sand it all down. <laughs> we'll see. May have made myself have a lot more work than I should. But yeah, uh, there you go. So we got that done. So you guys saw me working over there. We're gonna summarize today's vlog, finish it off. What all did we accomplish? Just about everything that we were set out to do, we did, and then some. 
finished doing Bondo on the abs, sanded it, primed it a little bit. I'm definitely gonna have to go a second round with Bondo. I kinda didn't do the best job on the first try ever, but that's okay, that's expected. You live and you learn, but it's already much better when it didn't have any Bondo. Um, the issue is, and I don't have my second friend hand free, but when I bend these sides over there in this pressure here, you can start seeing a crack over here. We really don't want that to happen. So uh, that's getting addressed. Uh, as I mentioned, this is fixed. Helmet's really looking nice. Just got to do some wet sanding and go over it again with some paints. By the way, speaking of paints, gotten the colors that we want. Look at this hand, absolutely gorgeous. Um, not my best paint job at all, but like I said, I just needed that clip to connect with that. The toppers are connected. We got our right hand done. We even started sanding some stuff. Heck, we got the right shoulder started sanding. The only two parts I have left to sand for this whole suit, unless if I'm forgetting something or I break something, are the feet. And that's it. Uh, those are some of the parts for the rest of the suit. The other parts are upstairs. So there you have it, guys. There's a latest vlog style update of the Iron Man suit. Hopefully in the next one, what we're gonna be trying to do is getting the torso to be wearable. I think I have all the parts not broken and kind of together. This seems a little bit better. So we're gonna be getting the torso together so we can wear it, walk around, be mobile in it, get the shoulders together and all of that. And then it's just gonna be the legs, electronics, and final paint job. We're getting there, it's coming together. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the sub button down below. Great content, I promise you won't regret it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.